Hey, hi folks, welcome back to Kid Friendly Videos. We're going to continue on with the video we made the other day. We did a video on how you can learn to paint uh, these toy cars yourself. A whole video dedicated to how to paint and what paint brushes to use and everything. And we're going to do Bubba Wheelhouse today. We started doing it the other day. We primed Jeff Gorvet. And today we're going to paint this car blue, black tires and wheels, and some yellow spots on the door, and number 63 on the roof. Now, he's probably not the best candidate for Bubba Wheelhouse, but he was asked, suggested by someone, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the blue paint out now and we'll cover them completely and then we'll start writing uh, some spots on it and the word juice on the spoiler and number 63 okay and then yellow on the doors okay let's get the paint out now okay here we go um and again if this is your first time here folks is a, sorry about that we're doing pixar cars customs we're taking cars from pixar cars and we're repainting them and repurposing them for different applications like there is what we did saturday this is fabulous red people actually told me they want this truck it doesn't exist anywhere except for here and i actually saw in the store the other day another brand new fabulous lightning mcqueen and i said well it's not a collector's item if i can buy two of them i can buy them anywhere so i might open that up someday or maybe even later on today who knows let's put our paint down right here and put the car here and i'm gonna get some blue paint just to match that and some yellow and some black some yellow right here that's for the spots and some black for the tires and wheels it's gonna look pretty good guys and some blue it might be the wrong color blue i'm gonna may have to add some white and actually you know what that looks pretty darn good um compare it look there's the color and there's the color blue get brushes all over the place here there's a nice eh, there's a nice brush right here we'll try this one here it's not too bad so let's try this paint we're gonna put two coats i'm gonna actually do the windows too oh that's perfect color yeah it's a yeah it's a perfect match perfect i can't wait to get the spots on it now somebody suggested it wasn't the right uh Car. I told them I was going to do, uh, the other day I made the video, I painted this primer and someone said it's not the right car, but that's okay, I'm going to use it anyway, and we'll see how it turns out. These cars, um, once you paint them up, they kind of look a lot like the ones you're looking for. Now guys, I can see I'm going to put two coats on this, because the first coat, although it's nice, is not going on thick enough for me. I can still see the gray through it, so I'll definitely put another coat on that'll really highlight the color of the car. And then when I get the yellow on it and the number on it, it'll look pretty good. There. And I have to do the tires and wheels anyway, so I didn't bother covering them. It's going to be all black. I might get a chance to do two of the tires and wheels in this coat because I'll be holding them by the front. I'll do the back wheels black or vice versa. And I have to do the, have to do the, um, the windows black because i got paint all over them. And i got a new brush now. It's a tiny little, a few bristles on it, so I should be able to completely um, do a nice job of that. And I'll do the back here, the red tail lights, and I'll fix the back up for this part here, I'll paint that black again because it should be black. And the spoiler's gonna be nice too. Okay, it's gonna be pretty cool. I hope I can write the word juice on the back. It must be an advertisement. Our sponsor is Juice, I guess. What's it say? Transberry Juice. Transberry Juice, whatever that is. A new, new juice for cars. Transmission, I guess. It's, of course, it's for cars, so it has to be something funny they got there. Well, anyway, folks, thanks again for watching the video on the weekend where I, I did the how-to video. Um, some people told me they're starting to paint their own cars again, which is great. I love hearing that. One guy said he wants to post a picture, doesn't know how. Send a, send a message to my, go to my page, my channel, and up top you'll see a button that says About. When you go to About, then you can punch in uh, a private message and I'll get it right away. And then I'll take the pic picture of it and I'll post it on my next video. If you want me to put your channel name, I will. If you want other people to see it, I'll put your channel link in my in my description so they can go check it out. How's that sound? I'm trying to get more people doing this. This is fun and it really um, gives you another use for the cars because a lot of people have lots of cars home in the basement they're doing nothing with them or in a box somewhere or you can get them at the junk store or the flea market or something and you can have fun with them and the paint's pretty cheap and it's lots of fun. You can get your parents to help you or you can do it yourself because I've been doing I did this when I was a child. There that's perfect. I'll leave that dry and I'll come back with the second coat on. I'll put down the heat lamp. Then I'll fix up the eyes too. Great. Because he has a, a really mean looking face on Bubba. Well, before I do that while I'm here, I'm going to do the back tires in black. The tires and wheels are black. Maybe I may have to do them again too. Who knows? Because I might get some more paint on them. But right now, I'll just do them black in the back. Perfect. Okay. Do this from here too. That was a great idea. Whoever it was told me to blow through the tire. Take the paint right through the wheel. Check it out. Okay, let's leave that dry and, and then we'll do the front ones next. 
Okay folks, the first coat's pretty dry. Now I'm gonna get the second coat, and hopefully that'll bring out the blue color nice and rich. And I may have to do the tires and wheels over again, because I'm probably gonna get paint on them again. I didn't do the front ones yet, but I will shortly. Yeah, this coat's on. That's okay though, I don't mind doing it a couple of times. And this um, Bubba guy, where is the picture of him at? He's got uh, slit eyes and a black grill and black spot under the grill. So I can put them on later. I just want to finish off the whole car now first in blue. With this nice thick color. Yeah, that's going on a lot better, guys. See? And I hope you guys, like I said, are, 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 are thinking about painting your own cars. I'm really hoping the Mattel will watch these videos and put out a primer series. Just, just primer cars. And what you'll be able to do is they'll come in a package with a, a little brush and a couple of paint samples. And you can paint your own car, put some stripes on it, maybe even some stickers, who knows what they can make. I wish they would do it. Because this series is one of my most popular ones ever. So if people are watching it, they'd like to do it. I think they'd like to buy the car. Or, like I said, buy your own paint at the dollar store and make your own. It'd be pretty neat though if you could buy them already finished. I actually tried to contact Mattel and they weren't interested at all. And I was kind of shocked about that. And I actually contacted another toy company too. Um, in the States. They even contacted one in the UK. They have a product similar to this, but they're they're big cars. They're really big. They're like uh, as big as, uh, hang on a second, I'll show you. They're as big as this Lightning McQueen that comes with some paint and you paint it. And uh, I said to myself, well, that's kind of, that's not a die cast for one thing. But apparently the rule is if the tire, the wheels spin, if the wheels move, Mattel has the, the rights on the car. So they couldn't use regular like a die cast, they had to use their own version of like the McQueen, which they licensed out and the wheels don't turn, I guess. So they just paint them and they're kind of like static models that just sit there when you're finished. These here you can use to play with if you paint them up, make your own stories up and everything. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna fix the eyes too with the white later. Because he has really mean, mean looking eyes on Bubba. Okay, and I'm gonna have to do the wheels again because I got paint on them already. And that's okay though, we got lots of black paint there. Going on way better, folks. This is going to be kind of a quick video because I just I already primed the car the other day to make the make the video on how to paint the cars, so this won't be too bad. Lots of lots of black to put on you. See, look, I got to do the, the windows again and the tires and wheels. It'll still be a while, but I want Bubba to look pretty good. And Bubba is named after one of the NASCAR drivers. Uh, somebody mentioned it already. If you remember right now, put it in the comment section. Somebody actually knows who he's named after. Bubba Wheelhouse, one of the famous NASCAR racers. And actually, same with Jeff Corvette, he's named after Jeff Gordon. Yeah, that's pretty good, guys. I'm gonna leave that dry, and then I come back, I'm gonna fix the windows up. I got a small little skinny brush for the windows. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and put black on the front wheels right now to get them over with. The first coat, right? Oh, did you see what I just did? Put blue on the wheel. Okay, I'll try that again, put black on the wheel. Now, definitely gotta do another coat on that one. Happens all the time on distract. <laughs> okay, and flip it over. Well, I'll patch that up, guys. I got a big mess there going on. Yeah, that's okay, though. Big mess. That's what happens when you're trying to rush things. There, yeah, that looks good. <laughs> okay, now where's my blue gun again? Because I dropped the car right upside down. On the roof. That's no problem. Fix that up. There. Here, actually, it dried pretty good already because the car is warm from the heat lamp. So I'm kind of like putting on a third coat here right now. Can't wait to do this car finish it off. Okay, let's leave that dry now, guys, and we'll come back and we'll put the black on the windows and we'll fix the tires and wheels. Okay, everybody, the paint is really dry now, and what I'm gonna do is get a small little brush and I'm gonna try to do the windows in black without making a mess if I can help it because they have to look really nice. The car came really good so far, paint-wise. I'm really happy with that. I just want to get the windows tidied up. And cover them all up. And then I'll do the tires and wheels again. That goes right back to here. Yeah, I got a big blob of blue here by mistake, so I'll fix that up. It goes right back to here. That's a mistake. Too much on the brush, obviously. There, that looks pretty good. Just a little bit here in the top. There, that's perfect. Now the other side, that's pretty messy too, which is okay. 
that's the idea. You get these little things here, these little paint things. I don't know what they're called, a palette or something. I don't know. But you can put all different paints in that and have a bunch of brushes. They're only cheap to at the dollar store. And when you start at it, you actually, you'd probably do a better job than me. I, anybody can do a better job than me, obviously. I'm holding the car in the air, close to the camera, focusing on the camera at the same time I'm trying to talk and help, if I can, show you guys what to do here. So if you had this like sitting down on the table and you had finer brushes, maybe a little better. I saw some videos or pictures on YouTube. These guys did a really good job of painting cars. They're like they're professionals. Holy, I couldn't believe it. They make up their own names for them and everything. Like you'd swear these were packaged cars that were individually bought in the stores. They were that good. I actually thought they were sometimes like real cars you could buy, but they're just cars like I'm doing only only good jobs. Mine are kind of um, basic, but it gives you the idea that anybody can do it. If I can do it, anybody can. I never painted too many things in my life aside from my bicycle when I was a kid. And I used to paint my little cars like this here when I was a kid with paint. My mother would get me at the store downtown. And it would take for hours to paint them. Then I didn't like the color, I'd paint them again. It was lots of fun. Of course, back then we didn't have computers or too many channels on television, so we had lots of time in our hands. But if you want to have some fun with your family, get some paint, paint the cars, even race them if you want to. Make your own stories up. One guy made a really good stop motion video. I was really impressed with it the other day. Wow, it was awesome. Okay, now I can touch my tires up again because I know I got paint on them. Then I'm going to leave it dry after this, guys, and then I'm going to um, leave it dry, and then I'll put the yellow on it and the number. We're almost done. Number 63. Yes, okay. I'll leave that sit for a few minutes. There, perfect. There. The wheels are done, the windows are done, and I'll come back in a minute when this dries and I'll put the number on the roof and some yellow and I'll write the letter juice in the back. There's a bit of light blue on the engine hood. I'll show you what I mean. Look, right there. So what I did was I added some white to the blue that was here and I'm stirring it up now to get the right color. And I'll put that on the front hood. I don't know what it's there for, but I'll try it anyway. I like to put too much white in, so I put some more blue back in. I noticed the number 63 is actually um, in the same color blue, so I had to get a more accurate color. That's better. That's more like it. Okay, and looking again, I don't see number 63 on the door. I have to go up and check the number again, because this might not be 63 after all. Okay, guys, I went up and printed off another picture. This is a way better picture. It's actually number 6, not even 63. This here is wrong whatever that is I don't know but anyway this is a better picture here I have the paint mixed up for that and I got the black paint for here and I can write around the number six on the side in the yellow and what I'm gonna do now then well I got the there's the actual car in the box that's what I went for first number six and it's got white on the front so I'm just gonna take the car here and I'm gonna put a layer where's that where's the, the better picture is right here and put a line of light blue right across the front Okay, right below the grill. So it's going to be right along this line here. So that came really nice. And next, we're going to put a line of light blue around the whole window up here on both sides. It goes right down the, wheel, the window post. And right over here. I'll try not to get any in the window. I use a very, very thin brush here for this year. It's one I specially made to cut off most of the bristles. It goes right down here and down along actually the hole right to the mirror. Well, there's no mirrors on this car for some reason, but I left them on Jeff Corvette. There, that's perfect. Now the other side. This will be the camera side, so we take the picture better look good. Post on the side here. I forget who sent in the suggestion for Bubba. Um, you guys are sending in so many suggestions I can hardly keep up. And I keep saying the series is going to end soon because I'm going to run out of ideas. But every time I look at the comments, there's three or four more ideas like just flipped over, another car I got to do. And somebody wants a cat, Ergo the cat. I have no idea what that is. And on the engine hood, there's a like sort of like a, uh, I don't know what it is. It's a line here, goes right to the front. Goes 
over and up. This must be some sort of a signal for the sponsor or something. I don't know what it is. Trans berries. Transmission berries, I guess. There's another line on the, on the roof that looks like it's here. It goes down here. And it goes over. These are some sort of designs, folks. I don't know what they're for. And it goes down like this. Just, I guess, uh, decals, I guess, on the car. And this is almost like a U here. And it goes down here and there. And there's, that's, that, that's all that's on the hood. And on the, I think there's a line here on both sides in light blue. It goes right down along the bottom of the door here. It goes up in the back a bit. And um, let's see. Along here. Back. And what I wanted to do, folks, while I got it here, is I wanted to um, do the back. I wanted to put some black along here. I kind of screwed it up. I didn't want to paint that. I'm going to paint it black to make it look good. Like that. And I need some red for the tail lights. I'll do that right now. Just a little speck of red. That's all I need. One little drop. Those are really cool tail lights. Okay. because it's a Corvette, it has to have nice big red lights in the back. The trademark. Corvette tail lights. Well, they were back in the old days, but they're all changed now. Everything's all digital and LED. And... There, check that out. And let's see, there's no more red, but there is some black. My black brush got right here, too big. I need a thinner brush. There's some black on the front. Right here, little triangles, and kind of like air intakes for the uh, engine, I guess. Wow, well, I blew it. I'll have to patch that first with this little blue brush, and we'll come back and do that again. It's a beauty having lots of paint out. There, we will leave that dry for a minute, guys, and we'll come back and put those little air limits on. That looks pretty good so far. Actually, you know what? It looks like those lines go right to the back up here. They go right to the back. So I'm going to continue this on here. Mess there, guys. Sorry, I have to fact patch that up. I'll patch that with blue. Okay, I made that too big. Well, that's more like it. That's what it should be like right there. There, I'll, I'll fix that with blue later when it dries. Okay, I took a few minutes to clean up the white around the eyes and these stripes in the back. They came pretty good. And I fixed up the decal on the hood. And now I'm going to put the number six on top of the hood. On top of the roof, I mean. As best as I can. It's a big number six, too. So I can really make it nice. It's kind of like... Well, that came pretty good. Now that I can finish off the six. Without making a mess. Perfect, that's perfect. Okay, now I need some yellow. Um, the yellow goes on the bottom of the doors. And actually right to the fender on both sides. So I've got some yellow already ready here. And it goes right along here. Starts solid here. And works its way back. And it's probably halfway up the door. And it turns into some sort of a spot. So I'm gonna do um, probably solid yellow first and I'll figure out what to do next. It doesn't seem to be very thick. It's not like a thick, thick yellow, so I'm just going to leave it kind of washed out. In other words, only one coat. And number six got to go in there somehow in blue. So I got lots of blue left. I'm going to go up along the side here, and it's kind of uh, turns into bubbles. I don't know how I'm going to make bubbles here. I really don't. I may just skip the bubbles and go with the solid color because I might just try and might make a big mess doing that. Okay. So it's going to leave that. That's kind of like what it looks like. There's nothing in the back. It's not, actually, there is, too. There's a good yellow in the back, too. Let's see if I can put that in there. It's not going to be very full. I'm just going to leave it just like that there. Now I'm just going to touch up a little bit more here. There. Now the other side. 
I might put some blue um, spots on it, like uh, with the brush, just to give it a some specks like circles. Oh, I see, I had to touch up the blue again back here. So. No problem. Nice looking car. It's a lot more work than I thought, though. I thought bubble looked pretty easy until I printed off the real picture of it. And not the one I had, which was a, probably a prototype or a demo or something. And I always remember to check the camera, folks, because sometimes I'm talking to myself here. I forget to turn the camera on. I open the door and open up the camera, and I turn it, and I forget to turn it on to record. And a couple of times I caught myself talking for about 10 minutes, and nothing was even recorded. Okay? So now in the back, it says Transberry in very tiny letters. I'm just going to try and just going to pretend I'm writing the word Transberry up here. I'm just going to just make a little squiggle here in yellow. And just little specks here. Pretend it's transparent. Which I could never do. And then I'm going to try and write juice in white letters. Right underneath it. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can do that with this brush. It's pretty fine. Write the word juice right here. Juice. Perfect. Okay, and now i got to get the... Uh, blue brush, which is the same one, I'll clean it off, and I'll put the number six right here. It actually looks like it's in black. It looks like it's in black. So I'm going to use the black paint in the yellow. Let's see if I can paint a nice number six in there. Number six, perfect. And over here, I'll do the same thing. Uh, I see my fingerprint went in there, so I have to patch that up first, guys. To fix that yellow first. And then I'll come back and patch the blue. I'll do this side right, okay? So it looks like there should be some blue pixel on the bottom here. Okay, we'll come back in a few minutes. We'll put the number six on that. And it'll be almost done. Okay, now I'm gonna write the number six on this side. I got this little fancy brush here. It's done in black. I touched up the blue in the bottom. I fixed that up. And it's a nice big, I think it's black. If you got a better, if you got a real car, let me know what the number really is. Is it black or blue? And it's right around here. It's in the yellow, but I didn't go high enough for the yellow, so I'm gonna cheat and go up here. Go way down there. And try and make a decent six. I'm very poor at numbers and letters. But that's pretty darn good, guys. I'm happy with that. And now I'm gonna paint the grill gray. I got some gray paint right here. I put it out just for the grill. And it's kind of like a mesh grill, but it doesn't matter. It's going to put a line across right about here. It's like probably the length of the smile where it used to be. Right across here. A little bit darker. A little bit more thick, I mean. And the headlights on this guy are stickers, of course. And they're kind of like blue and white? Hang on a sec. It's kind of like blue, but I'm just going to go with white, guys, because I don't see how I can do that blue. i got some white right here. I'm going to put a nice headlight. It starts at the bottom here and goes across. It's really slid it. Nice. That one came nice. Now, if I do the other side, I'll be laughing. Wow, that's really good. Now, there's a little triangle of black right down there. Hang on, I'll wash my brush. This is gonna be hard, because it kind of adds to the grill. It's a little triangle right down here in black. There's one, and on the other side, I'll try and go a little higher this time. Nice. Now, I'm gonna fix that blue at the bottom. Not quite dry in the black, so I'll cover it with heavy blue. You won't even see it. Well, that looks like it. Number six on the side, the stickers are on the hood. Everything's ready to go. Let's clean it up, folks, and have a look at Bubba Wheelhouse. Well, there it is, guys. I have to admit, it came out a lot better than I expected. It took a lot longer than I expected. This took about two hours to do, actually, after I had it primed. So if you're just watching the 20 minute video, it took about two hours to get this done completely. Got juice on the back spoiler, number six on the roof. 
number six on the doors with the yellow. I didn't put the bubbles on, couldn't figure out how to do that. And I got the intakes in the front, in the sides, and black tires and wheels. And there's a picture, a real picture of Bubba Wheelhouse in his package. Looks pretty good. And here's a picture of Bubba on the on the on the field. Actually, that came really nice. I'm happy with that. Turned out way better than I thought. And you keep sending in your suggestions. We got our school bus of doom here, which is fabulous. Miss Fritter, apparently in the last video I said Miss Friller. <laughs> and somebody heard me say Miss Friller. So somebody said, hey, you just said Miss Friller. I probably did. And there's Tim and Fredless. And a lot of other cars here. There's a Cal Weathers, Lightning's friend. And this here is Next Gen Lightning McQueen. See, I made that just out of Jackson Storm to see what it looked like. And there's poor old, old Fred. And okay guys, keep sending in your suggestions. We got a whole bunch of fabulous uh, cars here. We're gonna do a, a video soon with uh, all the fabulous cars, including Doc Hudson in downtown Radio Springs. And there's the car I made up myself. This is Glitter Storm. It's actually Jackson Storm painted in glitter. And there's Jackson Storm painted as fabulous Jackson Storm. But uh, folks, keep your suggestions coming. I got lots of ideas. Uh, you guys are sending in tons of ideas and I appreciate that. It helps make my job easier. I'm going to keep the series going for a while because I can't think of anything else that will bring as many views in as, as this series has. So keep your suggestions coming and I appreciate it. Have a great day, folks.